All the best. And it's been hit from behind. That's uh... Alex Davidson makes a stormer. Slots to the inside. That's massive. Oh, oh the slot on massive. the grid. He was stalled on the grid. And it's been hit from behind. That's uh and Carl Carl's Weidler. moving, trying to get out of this car quickly. He's out of the car. That's good to see. Because that has taken a massive hit from behind. The race is red flagged. Gets a good initial bite. Alex Davidson makes a stormer. Slots to the inside. That's massive. Oh, oh the slot on the grid. He was stalled on the grid. And it's been hit from behind. That's uh and Carl Carl's Weidler. moving, trying to get out of this car quickly. He's out of the car. That's good to see. Because that has taken a massive hit from behind. The race is red flagged. And a, there's another car involved behind. It's really hard to pick up. It's a Kelly, it's a Kelly car, I think. He's out of the car. That's good to see. Because that has taken a massive hit from behind. The race is red flagged. Need to move around. Pit lane oh, the race is stopped. It's Steve and Owen, the VIP Pepfords car. He's out of the car. He's okay. Stage, but, oh, deja vu, mate. I mean, you talked about that incident. You know, winded. It'll hurt. And look at and this is what I was talking about before. You've got the, the 50 laps ahead, and Davison's got another gun one. Lounds his pocket down, and Bright is across. He's got the lead at turn one as Davison now goes the long way on Wing Cup. It wasn't nearly as good a start for Jamie Wing Cup this time, and Alex Davison's got a second now around the outside. What a move! He made a beautiful launch. He's done it, but those guys have just gone out on fresh tyres, including Craig Lounge. You're going to be punching out laps faster than Jason now. So you can see this is really forcing the hand. Um, but I've got to say... Alex Davison, Tander and Bargwana, Holdsworth and Will Davison, Slade, Coulthard... Oh, and Winterbottom, that's Court, the Courtney's off at turn one. Straight through the sand. And Rick Kelly, with the tyre condition as he is, has turned... The uh, once it got inside under 35 seconds, it was always going to be Lowndes was in the box seat. And the margin is now nine seconds. Lowndes back in the race lead, right in position two. Lowndes to the inside, doesn't get it done. New race lead at Barbagallo, Jason Bright. Last lap. Jason Bright leads, Bargwana, his teammate. He's up the inside, barks to the podium, he's got to third. Great job, that is a great job. What a day for those guys. One car in the bunch on the podium, including this one, for the first V8 supercar victory for Brad Jones Racing and a long time between, between drinks for Jason Bright. He has not won a race since Bahrain in 2006. Brad Jones Racing have been in this championship for 11 years. They've done 337 races and today is the day. Jason Bright and Team BOC, the final turn at Barbagallo. Race eight, we've got another new winner in 2011. It's a breakthrough for the boys from Albury. Oh, boy, awesome. And Bright takes the win. Wink up second, Barbagallo's on the podium. Two Brad Jones racing cars. Wally Story, this team they've been trying for so long. They're a tight-knit crew from Albury. There's a guy watching in Melbourne called Jason Richards who'll be loving this right now. So Bright gets the win. Brad Jones has got a big... Team Vodafone versus Team BOC. Watch for Tanda. Watch for Alex Davison. Away we go. Bright's got the jump. The we cut up. Slow away. Tanda's made a quick one and Lounge has been swallowed. This is start, Jason Bright. He read it perfectly. His jump was beautiful. Tanda really threatened Wind Cup on the outside of one, but he didn't quite get there. Gave away.
grid spots as a result. Shuffled back in the order. Oh, wow! How was the Jason Bright, Team BOC. They will do what they did last time, which is they've still got pace. He's been making that margin. They'll run him. Here comes Barguana. He's got, he's got to come in. It's just madness. Here we go. That is madness. He's not the only one. It's earlier than race eight for these guys at Team BOC. Oh, didn't quite get you. That was a bit eager. Go, 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 go. But I think the normal rule is with this. Live ball, I think Jamie's going to get him. Got him. So that little balk on the on the front wheel, because we know Wing Cup got balks reporting that he can't get close enough to the back of Wing Cup. It's where the aero grip is quite important. It starts to lose its balance, and then Gisbergen gets down the inside of Murphy. Corner. But he's only got to hang on now for one more lap. What's impressive is the margin these two have earned over Garth Tander and Craig Lowndes. They've been the class of the field. Bright in race eight was driving literally around that white line at turn one. He had the car hugging the road. And Tander's performance is much better also. Good recovery from him. Third position and his speed in the last part of this race is actually quite good. He's about half a second faster than the two guys in front at the moment. But a great display from Jamie Winkup. Now they're using pit board on the wall for Shane Van Gisbergen given that the radio playing up and there's also a problem with the radio for this man. Oh, for uh, Barbagallo Raceway. But for the championship lead up, it's a case of two out of three. Ain't too bad at all. Winkup wins. Great work. And extends the lead. Great drive from Jason Bright. Team BOC have done an awesome job today. Third on home soil. And in the background there, James Courtney and Stephen Johnson getting stuck right into it all the way.